Well, it's an absolute privilege to be with you tonight from one of the great world football cities. I'm referring, of course, to London. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they face Al Nasser. Well, Derek, semi-finals are usually tense affairs. The winners can look forward to a great occasion in the final. The losers are completely forgotten. The contrast in emotions is immense. Let's hope it's a semi-final that everybody remembers. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Lucas plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. A really effective shielding under pressure. Still not clear. He's in behind. Big chance it is. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? A Spurs free kick it's going to be. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. He can't hold on to it. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. Nicely cut out. Mane. And a good-looking ball. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Able to skip past his man, and a fantastic diving save. And over it comes, not all that convincing defensively. Well, threat over for now. Javier. It's with Davinson Sanchez. Son. Reguilon. Long way out this. Well, the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss, but it wasn't a great effort. Emerson read it superbly to take back possession and Spurs moving the ball forward what can they do from here well, making high pressing work for them here Javier. Lucas. They have space here, Tottenham, in an attacking sense. Son. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. A room to roam on the wing. Extraordinary scenes!
Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Eric Dyer. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Great chance to make it a brace but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might still be problematic. Well, they can keep possession now. Half time then here in the English capital. So the second half is underway. Not enough went right for Spurs in the first 45. Can they address what went wrong? Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, closed down straight away. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, here it is again, and it's a brilliant strike to beat the keeper from there. It's an absolute cracker of a goal. Well, a second goal for them here. And a fine tackle. Ottavio. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, that's a really good run. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. And there's the delivery. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A master class in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Sanchez Fabier beautifully disguised ball and a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end and so 30 minutes left for play in this one poor pass he's in here and tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Corner kick played in. And an effective clearance. Now shot happy here. 
And just too much height on the shot. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. And a good tackle. Bowden. Pabier. It needs an accurate cross. Cutting the ball back. Trying to chisel it. Well, the post got in the way. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post. But on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And dispossessed. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. Well, not so fast. The referee says penalty and maybe a late glimmer of hope for them. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. Well, they really need this. And a timely penalty save. And over it comes. And the danger is averted. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Cuts it back. Can he get one back? Oh no, is the answer. It was a guilt edge opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. You have to say that's a big chance missed. He had to score there. That makes it difficult now. And just five minutes remaining. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Lucas really getting stuck in well let's see what they have in store for them on the break will they profit from this situation all in all a broken counter attack no longer has custody of it Dyer, and he takes on the shot and a fine stop There's the referee's whistle, and it is official now. The visitors are on their way to the final. Well, that was an excellent display. The result was never in doubt, in my view. They controlled the tempo of the game, they looked threatening when they went forward, and they had the better individuals. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Yeah, all smiles as he grabs the match ball. He just had too much for the opposition today. They just couldn't handle him.